Hello, my Bach family. Hope you are doing well. I'm just uh, touching base with you. I realize it's been a while and um, hope you are all doing well and uh, not too isolated in the midst of all of this. Uh, we're all keeping sane in our household by lots of walks and uh, the addition of technology. So uh, no guarantee that a little person won't walk through the uh, screen at this. Uh, but that's kind of the way it all works these days. So I'm gonna work a little bit through the Brahms today with you. Um, I've decided to go ahead and use the Cyberbase platform rather than go through and record every single uh, part on this. But I did wanna give you some ideas about pronunciation and um, phrasing and things like that. So on the Brahms, Schicksalslied, uh, the altos of course start. Um, <laughs> So phrasing-wise there, and when everybody else has that same part, I'd like you to do And then a little bit of a lift there. And then and then take the second phrase. So altos, you'll need to finish that first phrase, but then everybody will uh, come in on the uh, next phrase. And basically you'll sing it the same way. So tenors would be doing And so on basses this would be So, it's ihr wandelt droben im Licht auf weichem Boden selige Genien. The next phrase uh, you'll notice at letter C is piano. So, glänzende Götterluft. So, we'll just do the rhythm first. Glänzende Götterluft. Rühren euch leicht. And that's leicht. So on the sh, sh, remember that's like cat hissing. Leicht. And we need to hear the h and the t on beat two. So leicht. Three, four, one. Rühren euch leicht. Three. Glänze. And then the tenors start the next phrase. You'll notice at the top of page three on the second bar and the fourth bar, there's a little bit of a crescendo, decrescendo. We call that a mesa de voce. And so the way you'll phrase that will be rühren euch leicht each time. Rühren euch leicht, which means um, to stir, uh, stir up this, this light. Um, Okay, then the tenors start the next phrase, and then the other parts come in on Goethe, Rühren, or Lüfte, depending on what you're doing. Now, look at the bottom of page three. On Rühren, we want the E vowel. Remember, for, uh, for the umlaut U, we're saying U, and then we're leaving the mouth in that position and then doing E. So, Rühren. And the second syllable uh, is marked with a decrescendo. So it's rüren. We don't want to be ren, but rüren, just a schwa syllable. And then the final phrase before D is rüren euch leicht. So if we come euch into leicht, we want to lean in just a little bit and then lean out. Now at letter D, wie die Finger der Künstlerlein, Künstlerlein, that's the U again, I, I, I. Wie die Finger der Künstlerlein, oh, Künstlerin, Rerin, excuse me. 
I'm not going to go back and fix it because I'll have to do the entire video all over again. So it's Finger der Künstler, Künstlerin, Künstlerin, and then Heilige Seiten, Heavenly Strings, Seiten. And the Seiten will be Seiten. So at measure 56, you'll want to mark in a crescendo, decrescendo, Seiten. Wie die Finger, wie die Finger, die Künstlerin, heilige, heilige Seite. And, uh, and then crescendo on that Seite and strings at the bottom of page four. Okay, the next phrase we're going to do, I'm going to do up through the top of page um or excuse me, bottom of page seven on this particular recording, so you know where we're going with this. Now we're at the top of five. Schicksalos, Schicksalos, wie der Schlafen die Säugling atmen die Himmlischen. That is, um, fate frees us like sleeping, sucking, breathe the mortals. That phrase is going to go um, something like, Schicksalos wie der Schlafen die Schlafende Säugling atmen die Himmlischen. I'm of course doing the rhythm of the soprano part. The other three parts would be atmen die Himmlischen. And that last syllable of Himmlischen should also be kind of a schwa, a dull ö sound. Not a eh. We don't want that. Okay. Top of page five. If you would mark in, if you haven't already, a measure sixty-nine, a little break after schicksalos. So it goes schicksalos wie der Schlafen die Säugling atmen. Now your uh, alto and soprano parts there at atmen, they have a, a slur marked. Um, and so we want to phrase it that way, but I do want you to breathe after Zeugling, okay? Going on at letter E. Koish bewahrt in bescheidene Knospe. Knospe, so the O vowel on Knospe uh, will be helpful to us, okay? Um, You'll notice that that's a soft uh, entrance there at letter E, protected in unfolding buds. I would like to sing that at a pianissimo, not at a piano. So if you'll mark that as two Ps, not one. And then it's Koish bewahrt in bescheidene Knospe. Again, don't accent the second syllable. And then the top of page six is Blüht ewig, ewig ihnen der Geist. And we put the st of spirit, Geist, on beat three. That's Blüht ewig, ewig ihnen der Geist. Blooms ever in spring. The next part, und Und die, so we want to hear the difference between those two syllables. Und die Seligen, und die Seligen, Augenblicken, Augenblicken, that's your, a blinking eye, literally your eye blinking, Stille, like Stille Nacht. So the phrasing of that will go, Und die seligen Augen blicken in Stille, depending on your rhythm. Your different rhythms will be different there. Um, Basses, bottom of page six there. Note when you do die seligen Augen blicken in Stille. When you go down to Stille, don't accent that last syllable. Just come off it, Stille. And then be real soft here. 
Ewige Klarheit. Always clear, ever clear. Ewige Klarheit. And then blicken in Stille. Ewige Klarheit. Long phrase, stay on that ah, nice and forward, and then height to the end. Okay? This is 10 minutes of Brahms for you. Uh, we will continue work on another recording on the rest of the Brahms, but this gives you a pretty good start on this, this tune in terms of, of what you have to sing. I'll break it up into other sections for the other stuff as well. Uh, moving on to a different piece, different recording. Take care. <laughs>